All right, guys, so <clears throat> I got this shifter um, in, but I got to weld it now. And, of course, you know, I left my laptop on. Well, I didn't hit sleep mode or it didn't shut itself off. So, of course, it's not on. So, had to plug it in. It's always one of these things, you know. When you go to the racetrack or, you know, you go to use this thing and <clears throat> your battery's dead and you just need to change the tune and you're like, dang it, that's not cool. And so, I don't know what it's doing now. I'm going to have to edit this part of the video for sure. My wife's trying to get online. That is so totally not what I want to do. Anytime you, you mess with those things... Um, you know, you just want to make sure you have everything disconnected and safe, especially ECU, stuff like that, because it can definitely cause some problems. So, I'm going to key it on. I need to, yeah, turn that fuel pump down. That thing sets there and goes forever. So, I have not... Um, transferred my learn tables for fueling and I could have just done a screen capture but it's hard to do a screen capture out here in the garage with all this hooked up so I'm just going to simply come in connect maybe am I connected no I don't know what it's doing typical electronic stuff and then if you rush it it gets upset and then it goes not responding and then it crashes so we're going to say here, give it time. So anytime I do welding, I like to disconnect the ECU. But before I disconnected the ECU, I wanted to grab all my fueling from the other night. You know, we made a couple of passes and uh, did a little bit of testing. I, so if you disconnect that, you'll lose all that data. I didn't want to lose that data. So, you know, just one more thing you got to get done before you disconnect the ECU. Um... And it is syncing now, so you guys are getting to watch this. It's a simple process. There's nothing to it. And my fuel graph is not the best. Um, I just go ahead and let it close. Some people rush the three-second window close. It's fine. It is what it is. And so if you come over here to fuel, you're going to hit learn table. Maybe. And see, I've got all of this. Now, I've got a D-cell problem, but I know as I get up into boost... Wow, it actually says I got to 8 pounds. That's crazy. It's wanting to add a lot more fuel. Um, so I know as I come up here, you know, 18 pounds, 20 pounds, 6,500 RPM. So I'm going to do like a probably, I mean, it's adding quite a bit. I'm probably going to do like a 15% increase up in this range as well. So right now, I mean, I could start, I, I have that shifter. I don't know what gear it's in. I'm not going to start it. But you can see your little bubble right there. And basically, uh-oh. Come on. Anyway, that bubble, that's where you're at right now. And so, <clears throat> typical stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and hit transfer, learn to base, because I kind of see, like, what it's trying to do and so let's go ahead and transfer to base so now we've got that and I'm going to come into the base fuel graph and notice it came up here and it started making some changes and it looks like it's adding more fuel so I'm going to come up here and I'm just going to come down and uh You know, this is always fun when you go and you can't remember offset selected values. Let's go 10%. And let's see. So I'm at 161 and 63 at 6250. Uh, it didn't change anything yet. Um, so yeah, I guess Holly here's having a little bit of a problem. 
I'm not really sure what's going on here. My computer is definitely going slow as Christmas. So there it goes, it added it. So now you can kind of see I'm not so much red here anymore. Um, and I'm going to come back over here and fill selected too because I'm short shifting this thing so I don't have a trunnion kit on those in this bad boy yet. So let's throw in another 10% of fuel right there. And so I've come in this whole area from here to here. Now notice everything's still red. I'm still working on a lot of things. I have no idea what's happening here at 3500 RPM at negative 12 degrees of vacuum. That's really odd. Um, so the whole thing about this fuel graph, notice I've got this huge spike. Everything else is starting to come up a little bit. This is, you know, people are like, oh, your learn table will do it all for you. Well, it's working on it. Um, it won't do it all. The goal is to get this correct and get this accurate. And I haven't driven it much since I've got these new injectors in it and everything. So this is still kind of working on it. Um, you know, and I, I threw a spark table in here. So, I mean, you know, don't copy this, guys, and think, hey, this is going to work in my setup because you could blow your stuff. Now, um, I, I don't. This is a work in progress. I've changed some stuff. I'm trying to smooth some stuff out. <clears throat> this may or may not work for your setup, for your cam. I am still trying to get this fueling right. When I get the fueling right, I'm going to come in and then take it off of learn and, and close loop it. So then you can start, you know, when you start working on your tune, you know you definitely have things. Um, you start minimizing your learn, and there you're working out less issues as you go. So less parameters, less things to change, things like that. But uh, that's basically what I needed. So now I'm going to hit close, and it's going to be like save. I'm going to say cancel, because I'm like, where is it going to save it? So let's go to save file as. Now, a lot of people do this different, guys. I like to keep the current on the desktop. Some people do not. I simply do. Uh, it's preference. There's a lot of different ways to open these things up. There's a lot of different ways to close them and save them. You just have to know where they're at when you put them there. Okay? Because if you lose it, and, you know, you can search it on your C drive, or you can search it on the desktop, you know, your hard drive, whatever, it'll be there. But I've definitely had some challenges with that. So I'm going to go to PC. I'm going to go to... See, it always wants to kind of come down there. So I'm going to go to desktop, boom. And I'm just simply going to throw a date on this so I know it is 9, 23, Boom. Yes, I want to continue. I know. Now, close that out. Good. Now, turn the key off. And you're done. Disconnect all your stuff. So now I'm going to disconnect the ECU and all that good stuff. And it's a relatively simple process. Get the ECU out of the truck and disconnect the battery. And uh, Move on with my shifter so you can kind of see what I'm doing. Sorry for that light right there. But you can kind of see I've got everything. The shifter is laying in the floorboard. So I just want to weld that back in. Um, I'm going to angle it just because I, I can and I want to. So I'm going to give it a little bit of angle for comfort. Plus it's going to fit better because this pro ratchet is a little wide. And uh, it doesn't fit as good as the other little short ratchet that I had in there. So that's what's going on guys. Here we go.